Well, hello to you from a city synonymous with the running of the bulls. We're here in Pamplona at the Estadio El Sadar. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And coming up, pulsating action from La Liga EA Sports. It's Osasuna taking on Valencia. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, it's a 4 5 1, so they will be very compact out of possession, but they'll need to break forward quickly when they win the ball back, and key to that will be the wide players. This should be a really interesting game. Well, here's the initial 11 for Valencia. Gabriel Paulista plays alongside Mukhtar Diakabi in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And they kick off here. Aymar Oroz. Perfect challenge. Samu Castillejo. Thierry Correa. Correa. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. And given acres of space to attack here. Crossing opportunity. Now really meat and drink to the keeper under the circumstances. But he really is danger personified. But in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, he's brilliant in the air. So I expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Making the pitch big getting the ball out wide and deliver as many crosses into the box as possible. Can he finish? There it is, the opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. Back underway, 1-0 it is. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. David Garcia. Very quick thinking there. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Gaia. Pepelu. Can he finish? Off the post and back in play. Well, the goal disallowed. Offside, Stuart. Yeah, I think everybody switched off there. It was quite clearly going to be offside.
Well, they couldn't keep it. Samu Castillejo making a bit of headway. Can he take advantage? Excellent block. So a set-piece opportunity as Valencia pushed to add to their lead. And the short option preferred. Now will the cross work out for them? Thumps clear. Now looking dangerous here. Firing it towards goal. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, the short corner routine. Castillejo. Thierry Correa. Pepe Lu. He's holding the ball up here effectively, waiting for support to arrive. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. <laughs> Elects to go short. Played into the box. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. How about the short corner? Crossing into the middle. And no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Well, Valencia have certainly dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and have been pressing to extend their lead. They just need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. Valencia moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Feeding it through. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Moncayola. Thierry Correa. Now with Gabriel Paulista. Pepe Lu. Going well. Now he must favour the cross. Clear deflection off the defender there. Well, they're going for the short one. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? They favoured a short one here. The save was a good one. The corner kicks keep on coming.
Oh, he's gone short with it. And to Budimir. That's going to do it for the first half. The referee blowing the whistle here at the Estadio El Sadar. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. And now they get... So back underway and advantage Valencia after the first 45 but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Crossing towards the far post. Well, in fact, a good but straightforward claim by the keeper. Ezequiel Avila. Ruben Garcia. Valencia doing well to regain possession. Gaia. Now possibilities in the centre. Very quick thinking there. And Valencia have it back now. Now the counter-attack looks on. Beautifully weighted ball. Gaia. Fluency of movement. Castillejo. Nice looking move, this. Can he finish? They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. away again and a 2-0 advantage here Ruben Peña Moncayola good technique displayed but they took care of the situation defensively racing forward trying to catch them out Thierry Correa. Duro. Samu Castillejo. Well, no luck keeping possession. Correa. Drawing it back. <laughs> Terrific block there. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Plenty of support here. Has eyes for goal. Blocked it brilliantly. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Well, a bit short with the clearance. And the attack fizzling out. And to Budimir. Very could reduce the deficit.
Well, moving the ball around nicely as they try to get themselves back within a goal. Might be a chance to break. And he might be through here. Superb chance. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Toro. On to Avila. Moncayola. No let up here. Brilliantly blocked. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Gabriel. Comes down to the final five minutes. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. He's using his strength to good effect. Moy Gomez. Catena. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. But I don't think, Stu, as anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. And this conference...